Hello viewers, my name is Henry and in this video I will be discussing about how to detect a scammer on Gumtree coming from the perspective from a seller so your intention is to sell a particular item on Gumtree um, for some kind of financial gain so what typically happens is that you will make an ad so you have all your information on there with your contact details being uh, your phone or uh, your email address or both. So once on your ads up there, how do you detect um, whether or not um, the recipient's either a scammer or a legitimate person? I'm going to go through an example of a scammer, what actually happens. So. Hopefully, if something similar like this happens to you, you won't be fallen in the unfortunate side of being scammed. Um, so that's what I'm hoping to prevent from happening. So what a scammer would do is that, or what they did for me on my example is that they contacted me via an SMS on the telephone saying, sounding quite legitimate, it went along something like, um, Hi, I'm interested in purchasing your particular item. Uh, what is the best price that you can do for it? And can you continue the uh, further discussion or communication on an email? So what actually happened to me was, you know, I got excited thinking that, yay, I can sell my item. Someone's interested in purchasing it. So I um, tried to reply them back by on the text message because thinking it's a bit strange why would you go switch over to an email communication if you started on SMS so I wrote them an SMS and I realized um, that the phone number was invalid you can't SMS that particular number so that was strange so what I actually did was I emailed them the information I said the same sort of things um, you know all the information is on the ad it's for a fixed price um, welcome to come in and have a look at it etc and then once when I sent out that email, I get a reply. And um, here are two examples of emails from two separate scammers. So along with the, um, the email, you get a, like a story. And the story will follow a similar sort of trait. I'm going to go through the top example with you. You can have a look at the bottom one by yourself. Um, the top one will generally say something like, Yes, they're keen to have a look at the item. They are currently overseas and they won't be back for a couple of months. They'll like to pay via either bank deposit or by PayPal. That's your second sort of um, hint. The third one and the deal closer is that they will send a transport agent who will be coming over to pick up the item once you receive full payment. So, once when you receive an email like this, it is 100% guaranteed scammer, okay? So, what I recommend you to do is that you discontinue any further contact with this particular person because uh, it is not going good. This is a not good situation for, for you as a seller and you don't want to be fallen um, in the trap of this. Uh, if you do follow through with it, what I've actually heard what happens is that uh, you do actually get money into your bank account. So if your item was for $500, you will receive that $500. So you'll feel as though, wow, the buyer has honoured their end of their bargain. Fantastic. Now, you being an honest person, which I'm assuming that you are, you will honour your side of the bargain. And the transport agent will come to a designated address that you put through to come pick up your item. So then you will pass your item over towards the transport agent. The transport agent disappears. Maybe like a week later, you're going to get a phone call or some kind of contacts from the authorities saying that there's been a fraudulent transaction. It's not your fault, but what you're going to have to do, you're going to have to repay the money. So in the end, you repay money, so you've lost money, you've lost your item to the transport agent, and then you have been scammed. That's the end of my video. 
Hopefully you don't fall into this trap and you found this useful. Any comments, just leave them down below.